Today we were revealing to the press, in fact, the project of UFA to erect a monument, the first ever of her history, uh, to the soldiers who took part in the Christmas truce in 1914 in Prook State or Prook Street, uh, which is part of a Walloon uh, a municipality called Commune Warnoton. They're going to unveil the monument on the 11th of December, and uh, the following weekend there will be a very important and interesting commemoration weekend organized by the Commune Warnoton people for making the public aware about what it was like to, to live in the trenches, to fight in the trenches and then to have this amazing truce that came upon them on uh, the uh, Christmas Eve. We have obtained the collaboration of the UFA for the erection of a monument at the occasion of this souvenir, which also wants to show that football is also a source of peace. Aujourd'hui, nous présentons un événement très important qui est celui de la trêve de Noël où les soldats allemands et anglais ont fraternisé ensemble, se sont échangés des cadeaux, ont joué au foot ensemble à Saint-Yvon. You can see Britain here, France, Belgium. And Block Street is like a Walloon bubble in the middle of this huge battlefield that was the Western Front here. The other places here are places where other Christmas truce took place and other football games have been played. What is also interesting about St. Ives, which has been selected for the main UFA monument, as you can see, it is in, in, in the intersection of all those places. So symbolically, it's also very important. The Christmas truce of 1914 is historical fact. It's borne out by evidence from the diaries of individuals who were there at the spot, um, and it's been verbally reported worldwide. But also there are maps drawn by people who were there and who witnessed this happen. Uh, it's not a matter of conjecture, it is fact. And that's why, with the UFA, we will put it in evidence, thanks to an idea of the UFA, to put it at this point, via the football, a sign of peace, important, which will be a monument erected for the Trêve of Noël, Avec we felt that uh, if there was a way to commemorate uh, this moment uh, of the little peace in, in, in the Great War, uh, it was definitely to do it on the spot uh, where one of the documented uh, truces actually took place, where we know that people kicked the ball. For the FA, the English FA, um, we identified at the start of this year that it was very important that we played our part uh, in commemorating the Christmas truce. We like to tell the story that, at the time, the Germans were our allies. A hundred years later in Belgium, we were facing each other, but our regiments had the same battle honours of Waterloo. We had um, British historians who, are, who have been working with us on this project and uh, on uh, the production of a, a film that we have produced to, to tell the story of this Christmas truce uh, and what happened on that night of 1914. Our purpose, of course, is to reach out the uh, younger generations. We decided, in fact, to, to create this committee to think about uh, the value of the truth and how it, it is uh, probably a way uh, before arriving to peace what we all are wishing to live. History is not black and white. It is not written in the moment, be it the Christmas truce or in uh, Plug Street or in Mons, but it, it goes on over the centuries. Um, it's fantastic. We've always supported plucky little Belgium. We've done it for numerous years. Now in the 21st century, we're crossing borders again, education, tourism, and uh, it's fantastic. I'm really looking forward to being uh, on the 11th of December and uh, on the weekend of the 19th to the 21st of December to be able to take part and relive history with the people of Commune Warnoton.